This is question number two on the June 2014 calculator paper. So let's have a look at the question. It says the table shows the average temperature on each of seven days and the number of units of gas used to heat a house on these days. So the average temperature, the units of gas used, and they've got a temperature of zero, the units of gas used was 20 degrees, and so on. And then we have a graph here with some points, points plotted already. And looking at part A, part A says, complete the scatter graph to show the information on the table. Complete the scatter graph to show the information on the table. The first five points have been plotted for you. So the first five points have been plotted for you. So I'm going to go back to the scatter graph and the table. Okay, we can see everything there. Now let's look at the information that's been plotted and what they want us to do. So the first five points have been plotted for you. So let's just check them. 0, 20. So if I move 0 along, 20 units of gas used. Yep, that's fine. Then 1, 16. So 1 is there. 16 there. 3, 18. 3. A temperature of 3 is there. And that goes up to 18. Temperature of 9, so that's 8. That there is 9. And the units of gas used is 10. That's correct. And then 10, 6, 10, 6. All right, so I just need to plot these two here. 12, 6. So 12 along and then 6 up. That's that point there. And I'm going to mark it with a cross just like they did. And then 13, 2. 13 is that value there between 12 and 14. And then 2 is over here. Okay, so that's the points plotted. A lot of people forget to do the first part of the question. Make sure you don't, right? Make sure you don't forget to do it. You actually do it completely and you plot them accurately. Read the scale carefully as you do so. Okay, let's look at part B. Part B says describe the relationship between the average temperature and the number of units of gas used. So it's the relationship that they're talking about. Now, you could write a lot of things here. You could write something like, as the temperature gets higher, the number of units of gas used gets lower. But one of the things I want to think about is looking at the scatter graph, what type of correlation is there? Okay, what's the general trend? So if I think about putting my pencil on the paper and look at the general trend, the general trend is heading downwards as you go from left to right. And that's a negative correlation. And that's what I'm just going to write into my answer space. Okay, so to describe the relationship, it's a negative correlation. Okay, and that's sufficient to pick up that mark as well. We're going to look at the last part of this question, part C, which is on the next page and I'm just going to slip in that part over here and if we just look at that part of the question okay it says estimate the average temperature on a day when 12 units of gas are used so we want to estimate the average temperature on a day when 12 units of gas are used okay you should be familiar with how to do this we need to first of all draw a line of best fit then read off from 12 units of gas, go along to our line of best fit, and then come downwards and read off what the temperature should be. So let's go about doing that. I'm going to lower it so we're looking just at the scatter graph. I'm going to draw a line of best fit. And my line of best fit, I need it to go through the middle of the points. So I'm going to wiggle this around, have a look at the best place for it. Okay. And I'm going to drop this down about here. Okay, just move this around. Yep, that's fine. I'm going to draw my line of best fit going through here. And there's my line of best fit. It's going through the center of the point. I have one, two, three points above it, one, two, three points below it. And by coincidence, it's just going through that point over there. They want us to work out the temperature when 12 units of gas are used. So 12 units of gas 
is here at that point. So I'm going to draw a line across from 12 units to the line of best fit. And then I'm going to come right down to the temperature and then read off this value here. Okay, so this I need to make sure I do properly. To take that reading, I know this value here is going to be 7. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tiny squares between 6 and 7. Each of them is going to be worth 0.2. So that value that I've drawn my arrow is 6.2. That is what I'm going to write in the answer space for part C. And if I look at part C here, right, where they want me to estimate the average temperature on a day when 12 units of gas are used, I'm going to write 6.2 over here. And I've checked the mark scheme, and the mark scheme accepts anything from 5 to 7. Right, so anything between 5 and 7, you'll actually pick up the mark. The two marks there, you need to make sure you draw a line of best fit. You need to make sure you draw the guidelines going across from 12 and downwards, and then read off the point correctly. Okay, this is a straightforward question. It's pretty straightforward and easy to get full marks in it. Make sure you do get it.